Well guys, we're finally here. We have a C8 Corvette to test this week and I wanted to give you some first impressions on what this thing has been like to drive. The word here is refined. If I had to sum this whole car up in one word, it would be refined. It's This is the next evolution of the Corvette. It's one of the best modern sports car interpretations I've driven and there's a lot more to come. But let's talk about this one. This is a 2LT package, comes in around $72,000. We have these fantastic GT2 sport bucket seats, carbon fiber inlays in there. Yeah, they're special. The leather in this interior feels fantastic. It even smells good in here. There is just a next level of quality to this interior's build, fit, finish. It's really good. So this huge slab here, this is all climate control. You've got your heated, cooled seats, your fan speed, passenger, driver. It actually works quite well uh, when you're sitting in the passenger seat. It looks like it might be a little bit claustrophobic and in the way, but it's not as bad as I thought it would be. It's actually, it's okay. You have a little bit of storage, place to put your phone back here. It's very hard to see, but there's even a little Stingray logo in the speaker grill. And of course, there's the engine back there. 495 horsepower from this one because we have the performance exhaust. Ooh, yes. I've been really excited to drive this car. Of course, everyone has heard the hype and has been excited about this thing. In this video, I wanted to go over how I feel about it give you kind of an intro to this car. We'll be doing a few videos this week on this channel and on Winding Road. But, oh man, I just, I do think this thing does look the business. We have 19 inch wheels up front, 20 inch wheels in the back. This is the upgraded wheel size. Standard coilover suspension. No magneto rheological shocks here. I think this is a really good spec, to be honest. The interior is just gorgeous. There's a really nice blend of, uh, look how you open that door under this, this blade. Really nice blend of red and black, and you get the stitching. Oh yes. Of course, we have a trunk and a frunk. Engine keeps everything nice and toasty back here. And of course, you can take the top off and place it right back here. It just clips right into these two areas and it fits perfectly. And there's that beautiful Chevrolet V8. Soft close on the rear deck lid. Of course, you've got your Stingray right there. <laughs> Let's show you guys the front too while we're at it. Just a two press to get that to open. It is strange walking to the front end of a Corvette and hearing almost silence. Good amount of space, it's very deep. You even have a little charge port in here, which is kind of cool. All right, let's take this thing for a drive. We've got a beautiful evening. The moon is high, the Corvette is low. You can see the heat coming off these vents. So as many of you know, the only available transmission is this eight speed dual clutch. And uh, it's quite good. We have reverse cameras, nice and high resolution. You can see forward, wide angle, slightly less wide angle, a view from above, a lot of good camera assistance for when you're parking this car and navigating it around parking situations. And of course there is this rear view mirror screen which is fantastic and uh, I find myself using pretty much exclusively because you can't really see much out of the back window. So we're going to start off in sport mode. That's kind of my favorite driving mode. 
we get the active exhaust in this car and uh, it sounds pretty good. So let's manage some expectations. Keep in mind that this is still kind of the base model Corvette. This is the entry level. You can still get one of these for just under 60 grand. This isn't the Grand Sport. It's not a Z06. It's not the 1,000 horsepower all-wheel drive that's going to come out. And as a result, this is a Corvette that's supposed to be a little bit more palatable for the masses. It has some amazing performance, but it's also very comfortable. It's refined. It's quiet. You could daily drive this thing. And if you get the front end nose lift, you wouldn't have to worry about scraping the front end on driveways. limits are pretty approachable. They're very high. You're not going to be getting close to them on the street very often. The exhaust does open up, but it never really, really screams. It's just a nice, sonorous tone behind you. You get on the highway, cruise in 7th or 8th gear, and this thing quiets down and is just super comfortable. The ride quality, even on the standard suspension, is fantastic. This is more comfortable than some sedans that I've driven. It's pretty amazing. The dual clutch is really, really good. I love that you can just hop in, tap the pedals, and get nice responsive downshifts and upshifts at will. There is also a manual mode, but you can just jump in at any point and start using this, and it's responsive and it, it feels good. It's a little bit slow to downshift sometimes when you're just in drive and you mat the throttle, but all said and done, it's, it's a very, very good dual clutch. And um, it's quite refined in the world of dual clutches. It's smooth, there's no harsh jerkiness off the line. The bite point for the clutches is very easy and, 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 and feels, very, feels very nice, but it's also responsive and kind of visceral and exciting too. This steering wheel, this rectangular square steering wheel, whatever you want to call it, is really quite good. I love it. I'm a big, big fan of this wheel. It just feels good in hand. It looks kind of weird, but it feels good. And uh, I, the visibility that you get with the gauge cluster and uh, the way it feels in your hand is really nice. It's very comfortable to hold. It's just the right thickness. And I like this little red center line here too. Visibility out of the side is a little bit challenging. You've got some pretty big blind spots at your B pillars, but luckily you do have blind spot monitoring and that is very useful and very helpful. On the highway this thing is very smooth, very comfortable, no radar guided cruise control in this car, but it's a simple system and that translates to a lot of the ergonomics in this Corvette. I am so glad to say that Chevy has done a really nice job making this a simple vehicle to use with all the modern technology that you would really want or need. Um, you have a Z mode that you can just press and set to your liking. I have it set to the most aggressive everything. Uh, you can also switch it into track with this drive mode dial here. There's a manual button, traction control off. Everything is easy to change, switch, and honestly just the standard drive mode in this Corvette is fantastic. The screen is really easy to see, 
when you're driving and it's very accessible for the driver. It's almost impossible for the passenger to reach it, however. So that's something if you're gonna be you know, using your radio, you're gonna be playing DJ unless if the passenger has your phone or something in, in their hands. I'm very comfortable in here. I'm five foot 10 and uh, I have plenty of space, plenty of room. This mid-engine Corvette configuration actually allowed for just a little bit extra lean angle from the backrest and legroom. So for the taller drivers out there, this is actually a little bit more of a tall driver friendly package. I do feel low and hunkered down. I do I do feel like I'm in a sports car in an exotic. This isn't quite the same driving experience as the older Corvettes. I mean, you feel like you're in a mid-engine sports car, the way the rear end kind of slopes up around you. And uh, my visibility forward is quite good, but at the same time, I definitely know that I'm in something just a little bit more exotic. And I like that, and you do get used to it after a little while. shifters feel great. They have a satisfying click and resistance to them. And the upshifts are bang on fast. Super responsive. There's just a little bit of safe understeer at the limit. And again, base Corvette. They have to make this tunable for people who want to take it out to the track, but also for the driver who may not have as much experience with a vehicle this fast, it has to be approachable and safe for them to drive. So the coilover suspension on this Corvette is fully adjustable. You can dial in, I think they recommend like three degrees of camber in the front, two and a half in the rear. You can change the ride height so you can corner balance it. There's a lot of adjustability in the suspension built in from the factory, which is pretty cool. We also have a brake by wire system, and uh, there are some advantages to that on the track too because it kind of eliminates brake fade in that you can put more pressure into the system than a standard pedal would. And it has good feel, it's nice, I like it a lot. thing is just awesome. Just awesome. I just want to keep driving it. So any complaints? Not many. This is pretty good. I mean, for what it is, if you factor in that this isn't your performance Corvette, this isn't even the Z51 pack, it's really, really, really good for what it is. I think um, for those drivers looking for that extra bit of excitement and performance, you're going to get it eventually in the Grand Sport, in the Z06, and possibly the all-wheel drive, hybrid, crazy 1,000 horsepower Corvette. <sighs> yeah, it's, it's a pretty good start to uh, this new C8. We're going to do another video tomorrow and later this week. I'll show you guys launch control. I'll show you guys uh, what this thing is like in a back road. We'll go over kind of my feelings and thoughts about it after spending a few more days with it. But initial impressions on this are very, very strong. Um, I really, really do like the way this thing drives. While we're here, let's do an audio test. We've got a nice Bose audio system. Let's 
let's see where we stand with sound quality. It's actually the first time I've listened to this area. sound systems like. A couple other notes, the head up display has a nice level of adjustability, you can change the brightness very easily, everything's a press of a button, it has a few different screens and menus that you can cycle through, I kind of like this one with the rev counter in it. On the highway, just chilling, it'll put you into V4 mode and you will achieve up to 27 miles to the gallon in this. This is rated for 15 in the city, 27 on the highway, which is quite impressive. Corvettes have always gotten pretty good gas mileage and uh, this is no exception. You could legitimately drive this thing all day long. It is that comfortable. And uh, aside from just a little bit of tire noise, it's pretty quiet in here too. The other thing that is definitely worth mentioning, this may be the car that I've gotten the most attention in ever. Everyone looks, everyone smiles, everyone waves, points. I mean, it's the new Corvette, it's the American icon, and uh, people love this thing. Everyone loves it. Everyone looks. And if they're not looking, they're facing the other direction. They don't see it or hear it. So it's pretty special. They, um, this thing attracts a lot of attention. So if you're going to buy one, get ready for that. And I'm sure we'll get used to these being on the road after a little while. But right now, this thing is new. It's special. It's a hot item. And uh, that is part of the experience. We're not going to take the top off tonight. But uh, we may later this week in another video. Honestly, it's just a bunch of wind noise. Uh, it's pretty similar to how other Corvettes feel with a top off. You get quite a bit of buffeting, uh, but it's still pretty livable and, and acceptable for what it is. Alright guys, well that's going to wrap it up for this video. Thanks for watching. Let me know if there's anything else you want to see this week. I'm going to upload this tonight and uh, make it live in the morning. And This way, we can have some interaction this week on the Corvette. If there's anything specific you want to see, just let me know and I'll see if I can work it into a video. Thanks again. We'll see you guys later.